New information on a Pfizer vaccine for those between the ages of 12 and 15. It could be ready as soon as next week, but the news comes with really mixed reactions. A News Now reporter Sally Jaramillo live outside the convention center, a location parents could soon take kids to get the vaccine. Sally? Brian, the Hill District is making it easier for those ages 16 and over to get vaccinated. Now, with drive out vaccination soon, many of you could be bringing your younger kids here. Others want to still wait it out. When younger kids get a COVID infection, um, the mortality is lower, the morbidity is lower. Dr. Mark Kahn with the Kirk Kerkorian School of Medicine says our youth can transmit the disease, so vaccinating them will protect others. Some parents agree, others do not. The thing that parents want to do is have their children outlive them, and getting a vaccine will ensure that my eldest, who it just turned 17, she just got her second shot. And so, yeah, we're, we definitely wanted to be freer and be able to go places and do more things. Our 13-year-old was left without one, and so we had this wonder of when, when will she be able to get hers? Shahab Sargari says having his youngest get the vaccine puts him at ease. They're thinking of their future. They're thinking of this herd immunity that comes from, you know, the masses getting the vaccine. And he can't wait for some normality in his girls' lives. And now they can finally get back and get off of Zoom and get off of the group text and go hang out. Brett Rogers is for the vaccine too. I'm excited about it and my kids are excited about it. They, they understand science, they know how vaccines work. Juan Manuel Lince, a father of three, is concerned about long-term risk. These vaccines are experimental. I don't think that that'll be the case, but, uh, but, but I cannot also um, have them get the vaccine and, and just hope for the best. Dr. Khan also tells me it probably won't take too long before we start seeing those kids ages younger than 12 get the vaccine. Reporting live from the convention center, Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now.